just going to tell you a story. I'm not going to tell you what to do, what not to do. This is just my story. 20 years ago this month, Ryan Leaf's dream came true as the second pick in the NFL draft. But his career ended quickly, and in football circles, his name became something of a joke. All I saw was failure. I thought either you were a success or a failure, and I had failed. During his time in football, Leaf learned about painkillers given to him by doctors for physical pain. But after his career failed, he learned those same pills could also kill his emotional pain. And that led him down a path he never imagined he'd take. As I just self-medicated with the only drug I knew. It's the only drug I've ever taken. It's the one the doctors prescribed to me for orthopedic injuries, and it worked for my emotional pain when I needed it as well. Eventually, he began to steal drugs, and this former Heisman Trophy candidate found himself in prison. And I got arrested for the second time in 48 hours. And this time I wouldn't get out. I'd spend the next 32 months in prison. Today, Leaf is sober and works for a drug recovery center, telling his story to anyone who will listen. He says his problem wasn't drugs. It was a need to medicate away the everyday challenges of life, a problem of choices. Life isn't fair. It's how we deal with it that matters. In Tuscaloosa, Dan Odell, WBTM 13.